NASA nailed it. The spacecraft Juno had one shot at entering Jupiter's orbit last night, and it did it. The history-making mission means Juno began orbiting the largest planet in our solar system on the 4th of July. Welcome to Jupiter. NASA scientists cheered and gave each other high fives as they declared Mission Juno accomplished. We prepared a contingency communications procedure, and guess what? <laughs> we don't need that anymore. The spinning solar-powered spacecraft successfully entered Jupiter's orbit shortly before midnight after completing a 35-minute engine burn. The high-stakes maneuver allowed Juno, roughly the size of a basketball court, to slow itself down significantly and hit a target just a few miles wide. A mission of this complexity uh, to accomplish tonight is 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 just truly amazing. To actually have it, to know that we can all go to bed tonight, not worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And lift off of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter. NASA designed the spacecraft to withstand the intense radiation belts and a ring of debris surrounding the planet. <laughs> As Juno's journey unfolded, it already began capturing images of Jupiter and its moons. Over the next 20 months, scientists hope to learn more about the planet's composition and uncover new clues about how our solar system began. And Juno has several science instruments on board, along with a color camera and three Lego figurines. One is the likeness of Galileo. The other two represent the Roman god Jupiter and his wife, Juno.